I can see the Prezi now. And you can all hear me. Right. Thank to everybody. Uh, I ask you first. How, if you all are running a project now, right now, or if, uh, if yes, are there some people who haven't started any project yet? Three pro Okay, so we have first project. A mixed audience with people who have one more project, so that's really nice. And also the people who have lots of projects now, they're also waiting for the results of the European Awards. We are all looking forward to that. And so as we start now, uh, I suppose you know me, I'm Irene, and you know most of the creative classroom group. But I'd like to introduce you my colleague, Para Evie. She doesn't like call, to call her Para Evie, but Evie, Evie Berlinoya. So Evie is an English teacher. And now for the last two years, she's working in the National Support Service of uh, Greece, uh, as I do. But at the same time, uh, I think that has lots of experience in it winning projects. Maybe some of you know one of the projects, the Rainbow Village, who was awarded us as the best as the best European project in 2013. So she was one of the founders, and I really think that she's very creative, and I'm really glad that I try I managed to convince her and, and to do that together. We organized this webinar together for the Greek teachers, so I think that it was nice to show you what we do. Uh, with the Greek teachers to show to the other teachers in Europe what we do and to propose some ideas. If, if, do you want to say something or I just start? Uh, check that you can hear me. Can you all hear me? Hello, everyone. I'm Irene for the good words. I start. Okay. okay, we are going to see a video now before we start. And sorry for that. Why? Doing, I don't know. I can't get rid of that. that. No. So it will work the full screen here. So I will do it like that. Uh, you guys, I will show you my face, Nadia, after we finish that, because otherwise if you see my face and you watch that, it would be difficult. Uh, so we're going to start with a video, and I hope you can hear it. Hi. Let's start. Hmm. Suddenly, 
crutch. It doesn't look very exciting. <laughs> oh, but you're a great builder, said my Work together. And so they did. For impaired notes. Charlie was good at details. Maya, good at dreaming of ideas. Each had a different approach to getting things done. Then they got to work. Side side, they helped one another to build something new, something inspired, spectacular. Next morning, everyone gathered for the final challenge. The big race. Each student stood alongside his or her finished project. Each art a perfect project. Well, ready? Asked Charlie. Ready? Well, everybody said Maya. Some of the other students said the best. You may think you're going places, but you're going to lose. Start your riches on your mark. Yes. Charlie, you're ahead of us. What for? Lock down, rattle up. What? Whoa, did you see that? And we have our winner. Charlie, now we're scattered. We did it. We finished, said Charlie. We've all just begun. Right. Lock down, rattle up. Anyway. They really were going places. They were above and beyond. In order to give wings to the students, to our students, we can do that with many things. And I think that if we must to help them uh, to understand how they can collaborate, this can really give them wings and they can really, it can really help them do many great things. Just before we start, I would like you to tell what you think collaboration. The video of the title is Above and Beyond. So, Evie has shared with you the link that you can see there. And we would like you to tell us before we start what you consider that collaboration is. So, we ask you to follow this link and we are going to use a Padlet. So, you just need to double click on the Padlet, your name, and what you think that collaboration is about in each winning. Share your opinion about that, and we'll share with you some examples, some ideas, and some tools. I'm all there, and what you're writing. I've already started writing. So you click on the link that Evie wrote above. I'm here as well. Okay, so you put it again. Great. I haven't used that tool before. Just need to double click on that. And, your name, and under your name, you will write. write Collaboration is about in an e-twinning project. We are thinking a lot about this collaboration. We all think that it's really important. But what do you think that this is about? And click on the page here. You have to open a different tab in your computer and put the link. 
link. You can just see my screen. The case that you are requesting to annotate, you click here, uh, you have click on the link, will open in the chat, and you post on that page as Mariana said. And then my screen, so we can all see what the others are writing, but you have to use a different tab in order to add it directly. So we need to see oops, what is written so far. So I'm going down. From down, so answer junk forces. We have skills different from ours to reach a goal we couldn't reach on our own. Collaborate sharing ideas, teamwork. Collaborate with the cooperation of the partners towards a common goal product. All participating students must contribute. Create, imagine, share, communicate, cultivate skills. A fun combining of skills, ideas, feelings, and aspirations. Collaborate with teamwork. Look between teachers. The most thing for successful work is in projects, share ideas, to work together, sharing the same goal, help individuals with a common taste, preference, liking, and attitude come and work together for a common goal. Not right, you have to click on the link. And tab, you can't write directly on my, uh, a new tab. So, I just put the link again. It's likings between each other, getting to know each other, collaborate, work, and sharing ideas, knowledge, experience. The people who used a Padlet for the first time, that in the title with the letters you write your name and then you click under that. So I'm giving an example as you can share my screen so you can see how I do it. So I do click here in the title, I write, I write my name and when it says write something, I write my a comment of what I have, I want to say. Also, a Padlet gives you the opportunity to add a video, to add a picture, a document, and to add some information for the people who haven't used that tool before. There are resources for a common purpose, teamwork. I, there, I think that uh, most of you uh, know what collaboration is about. The thing is that it's very easy to succeed in the, the collaboration part, and sometimes it's really difficult, and you need much more time and much more effort to work on that. Uh, so I'm here is about discussing the same goal and to achieve it. Uh, would you like to go on and go back to the presentation? I'm just there are some more people writing. Great, yes. So, thank sorry, we don't need this. So, we know that collaboration between partner schools is one of the criteria for the quality label for the national prizes, for the European prizes. And they are talking about collaboration with that collaborative activities go beyond communication. The partners are not just recipients of information. They are team members, co-authors, and co-creators. Collaboration means that both classes need the contribution of their partner class to complete the activity. Work in mixed nationality groups is a very effective practice for collaborative work Small group from one class and small group from another class, missionality groups. So, and what collaboration is now? We, now, as Irene has told you before, we work uh, at the Green 
success at the Greek National Support Service, and this means that we evaluate it winning projects. Before that, we have worked on it to approach ourselves as teachers. Uh, what we did here is we elected the 10 most important rules, we call them golden rules, for someone to achieve the best mark uh, in the collaboration criteria. So uh, we will give you some guidelines on how to to uh, plan and organize uh, really creative collaborative activities. So we'll start with the first rule. Get your partners. So you find your partners, you register your retweeting project. The first thing that you have to do is to get to know them better. So, Create a document and share with your partners all the necessary information. Share this information. The number of your students, the, the number of students that will participate in the project, their age, their interests. And it's really important you have all this information collected in green space because afterwards you are going to create teams, groups of students, and they have to have at about the same age and the same interests. And of course, you have to know the, your student level and your partners in the foreign language and ICT skills. And this will help you run the activities better and help you choose the right tool for them. First of all, you have to create a document with all these things, all this information, and share them with your partners. Put them in a folder in the twin space and have them all together. And let's go on to the second one. The golden rule, and this is a really important rule, it works really well you, when, uh, when you do this, is to create a detailed task schedule. What do we mean with this? You have to, pl to make a plan of partners and set the dates and the deadlines of each one of the tasks description of the task in it and what each country should do in each one of the tasks. In this timetable, you should also mark the dates for holidays, the, um, the dates when the school starts and finishes in each one of the partner countries, share it with your students and of course keep to deadlines, especially when you have collaborative activities, you have to keep to the deadlines. Of course, you can change this uh, time schedule as the time goes by. If you see that one activity took more than uh, you have planned, you can uh, change the time schedule. But it's really nice to have one from the beginning. And we're going to see an example of a time schedule now. Uh, Irene, time schedule. Okay, time schedule from my projects. You see that in the column there is a month and your description of the activity, and then what each country does in of the activities in the uh, following columns. And you can also see the school holidays for each one of the countries in the time schedule and the deadlines for each one of the activities. So try to plan a project as carefully as possible from the very beginning of it. These important rules. So we go on and now we started. Uh, we know that the preparatory planning leads to a successful twinning project. So it's good to plan a meeting, to introduce this project to your children, to your students. It's important to inform the parents, your colleagues, and maybe your colleagues would like to work with you as well, and of course the head teacher about the specific uh, project. And really important if you try and you manage to add more teachers, more colleagues from your school to the project, and then form a school team. It means that your work will become really more easy. Everything will be easier if you have teachers, uh, other teachers, so you work together, you will plan together, you will have responsibilities. And it's also good for your students to see their, uh, their teachers to collaborate. 
Uh, if you have a website, it's uh, really nice to announce the beginning of the project on the school website. Right? And if you have students uh, from 9, 10 years old and older, it's important to create twin space accounts for them and invite them to contribute and how they can write in the forums and collaborate and communicate with their peers. Uh, you can also organize some mini courses for your students, how they are going to use the different ICT tools. Uh, I'm sure that many of your students uh, are capable of working and doing many things, and you are surprised if you have the responsibility what they can do. And you can also create twin space tutorials for your students, also for your partners if they are beginners and explain some things and how they can work on that. A fourth uh, rule, it's very really important to design your twin space really carefully. Uh, this twin space that we have, and we are using something like that in the groups as well, it's really nice. I personally believe that it's more attractive than the previous one, but you have to, to plan it really carefully, to organize carefully how you work on that, and try to create activity pages for each one of the planned tasks that you have to do. This means that uh, when we evaluate projects and we visit the twin spaces, we, for example, there's an activity, traditional dances, and you can see it's traditional dance in uh, Spain, traditional dance in Greece, traditional dance in Italy. When something like that, I, it's like the first impression is that, okay, these teachers and these students are working on parallel. They're working collaboratively. You uh, separate the uh, pages according to the activities. So this means, I don't know if you can see uh, very uh, clearly the page, the, the space that I have under the rules. So for this was a simple Christmas project. I have a different page for creative writing, celebrating Christmas, Christmas songs and carols. So all partners went there and they added their videos. Christmas pieces in all partner languages. So all partners again visited the same page and added their pieces. Uh, nice if you try and add in each page a short description for each one of the activities planned on the top of each activity page. So be clearly what you are doing there. And don't agree with your partners about the most suitable tools for each one of the activities and add them to the activity page. the next slide yet okay it's in front of me now okay the fifth golden rule so we have planned our twin space we have prepared everything we have done all the preparatory planning so we start with the first activity the first activity should be a nice breaking activity students have to know their partners and they have to know them from the very beginning of the project and to play a really well organized icebreak activity the first thing you have to do is add your students in the space. We cannot have swimming projects if your students are not there. So, have students try to have your students interact as much as possible through the twin space. The first thing you can do is update their twin space profiles. So, ask them to go in the twin space, log in, update their profiles by, by adding a short description of themselves and maybe a photo, not of themselves, but a photo that uh, uh, of something that they like or create an avatar with uh, various tools that are free on uh, online. And uh, if you want to motivate them even more, you can ask them to vote for the five or ten best profiles that they have visited. You can ask them to visit uh, their partner's walls and add, and add uh, a short comment. On written. Um, you can, of course, plan chat sessions and live meetings. Now, in the new twin space, we have uh, live um, tools. So, it's thing like Skype that you can use it and it's in the twin space. And you have to find really creative ways to have your students introduce themselves. 
apart from writing just a short description of themselves. And we are going to show you these ways now. First, uh, Emma C is uh, from a student's profile. She has used a motto, an avatar, not a, a personal photo. So we protect um, her data this way. She has uh, written some things about herself. Underneath her description, there are other students writing comments to her. So they have already started uh, communicating, interacting from the, the first days of the project. Nice activity to get your students know each other is this one. Okay, what we have done here? We have asked our students to write a short description of themselves. And then send their descriptions to their partners. And partners have to draw their porter portraits according to the descriptions that they, they received. We used these portraits as avatars. So instead of putting a personal photo of them as avatars, they used the portraits that their partners from Italy or from France have uh, drawn for them. It's a nice idea when you um, to your students to read descriptions because sometimes we uh, upload Word documents in the twin space and nobody goes to read them. It's a really smart idea and create one. One. Byron. Um, but I think delays to you because I can see that. Oh, I can see it now. So most of us, when we start a project, we create a PowerPoint presentation of our school and or of a of our country or city. Instead of just doing that and uploading the presentation in the twin space, um, we did it more interactively. Uh, what we did here is that students created a PowerPoint presentation of their country, but they left some of the slides empty. And the students from the other country had to take the presentation and fill in the empty slides with information. This way, uh, students from the other country, the country uh, got to read information that were already in the presentation, and they have to search for information and learn more things about their partner countries. So it's an interactive way to pre your countries. Golden rule. Of course, we cannot, we cannot talk about collaborative activities. We don't create national groups or mixed nationality groups. So you have to team your students up in transnational groups. This should include pupils from every partner country. So three students from Greece and two from France and three students from Italy or whatever country uh, you are working with with one transnational group. When these transnational groups a table with this and upload this table, publish it into the space. And ask your students to work together by using collaborative tools that we're going to show you later. Write a short description of their group. Uh, use the Titan Pad tool for collaborative writing for this activity. So they work together to write a short description of the members of the group. Uh, you can also ask your students to agree upon a name for their group. For example, in one of our projects, we created 10 transnational groups, and each of the groups had uh, their own name, and their own description, and their own symbol, their own emblem. We a collaborative drawing tool, and they drew together their emblem. So, here is an image, a table with the transnational groups of one of our projects. We had formed eight groups, and there were students from Greece, France, Poland, Romania, Turkey, and Armenia in each one of them. 
and work together in most of the activities after that. It doesn't work now, but there are many other tools that you can work. We go to Golden Rule 7, and we don't want you know, to keep talking a lot because then we are going to use and we are going to work all together. So Golden Rule 7, plan as many collaborative activities as possible. So this is what we are talking about. I, I really believe that it's important to plan activities that need your partner's contribution to be completed. And it's better to have less activities in your project but to have more activities collaborative activities. And you can use many collaborative tools, Google Docs, Prezi, Draw It Live, it doesn't work, we will show you the tools that you can use. Uh, try to avoid creating folders, as I said at the beginning, for each country in Twin Space. Successful collaborative activities are the ones in which you cannot tell which the partner did what. Um, uh, it's like that. that. So here, uh, these uh, students uh, are from one of the Evis classes, and what they did is that they did it's a really simple idea, but very collaborative one. She found uh, songs that are common in the different countries. And one student, not one student, one class, the song in the language of the other country uh, and the other school in the language of their partner. So I'm going to share with you and see what exactly they did. So our media is changing in Greek. Difficult activity, and uh, it's really easy to accomplish it. Another example: uh, the rainbow from the Rainbow Village. So they did a friendship dictionary, and actually, I have opened it here. It will show you what exactly they did. So it's a dictionary they created. They found the words that are connected to their project. I use this, they wrote these words in all languages, so you know that the rainbow is curcubeu in Romanian, Texas, or in my foreign languages are not so good in Polish. So see what exactly they eat. Freedom, solidarity, love, hope, job, cooperation, trust, money, everything. See, they made it every and another activity, because uh, every time we have a webinar or a session, there's a preschool teacher that says, okay, what you're saying here is really nice, but I don't know that, I don't think that my my young students can really do many things. And uh, as a kindergarten, I really believe that kindergarten students can do really great things. I would like to show you an example of, uh, because my sharing, Goes. So another activity that we did here, so in the language day, we selected, we voted, we were seven countries, and we voted seven words in each school that we would like to learn in the activities. And then the pupils made the drawings, and we uploaded the drawings in Smilebox, in Smilebox, sorry, in VoiceThread. VoiceThread is a tool that allows 
translate for free three presentations like that. Uh, so we uploaded all pictures there. And what we actually did is that we asked for our, from our students to read the, the different languages. So if you click here, yeah, yeah. you hear the word in the different languages. They, all the students are working on that. Yeah. A final product that needs the contribution of all students and of all the partners. And I can my students were really happy. Mama. You can hear that from their voices. And they were very happy because they thought that now they can Mama. speak seven languages. And this was really important for them. And as we go further, so this is here, the voice thread. And let's go to uh, number eight, where it's really important to assign responsibilities to your students. And really, you have to discover that you, you know that your students have many talents and many skills, and you need to give them responsibilities because there are students who are good in drawing, they are good in music, they are good in technical matters, in ICT. So they can all fit in a project. And they, you can see that students that maybe are shy during the class, maybe they're very good in skiing and they can great things. And you will see that in a project, they can contribute equally. I'm sure that you will be surprised with that. Uh, it's written to teach students in groups according to the talents. So you can even create the painting group, the photography group, the ICT group. And you assign to some students the role of students ministry in the dream space. So he really contribute and he can really do things and uh, take responsibility. So if you have a deadline for an activity, you can keep the record and they can inform their partners that, okay, we don't have so much time, please go on. And it work really well. Well, so um, we're not going to uh, target a lot. This is the last rule, uh, the ninth rule. And of course, you cannot finish an eight winning project if you have waited it. The last thing you should do, and even uh, after each one of the activities, you have to evaluate uh, the quality of your project. You have to evaluate the activities to see what worked well, what you have to improve, what you need to change in the next project. So there are many tools that you can use um, in order to evaluate your project from Google Forms to Form tools, uh, uh, some quiz. Um, in with the Padlet, you can uh, ask your students to leave comments there. Um, and who can evaluate a project? Everyone. The teachers, the students, uh, the whole school community, the parents, the headmaster. Um, you have uh, comes uh, from a, from a, the project affected. Is to have an evaluation at the end of the project and even after each one of the activities to see which one uh, which was the first activity for the students or uh, which activity they didn't like at all. So, uh, so you will not use it in the next project. And these are some examples of evaluation. Even uh, your students can evaluate other students' work, uh, uh, putting the best uh, work, work of, of their partners. So in the first uh, um, top corner, you can see an answer garden. And we have asked students um, I don't know, one did uh, draw the, the best uh, emblem. I'm not sure about what we have asked them there. So they voted for the person that drew the best one. Uh, we have used the polling tool to vote for mayor of the Rainbow Village. I have also used the Google form 
to ask our students which activities they liked the most. So we had a lot of evaluation during that project, during the Rainbow Village project. And we will stop the theory and we start using collaborative tools. We are going to collaborate. Uh, you recording, I'm sure Irene will uh, upload the recording in the Creative Classroom. And we'll also have the presentation, so don't worry, the link is a pre, so we'll share the link uh, with you. And let's start with some hand on activities. And we are glad you have used this tool in the beginning of the presentation today. Uh, we want you to write a short introduction about you, some things about yourself that we ask our students to do when we start an e-twinning project. So let's pretend that you are students and this information by you now. now. And it's going to give you the link. Sharing the link with you. Link and write something about yourself and your favorite color as well. You can, if you want, to team students in transnational groups or in groups later. So really a smart way to do it and an easy one. So visit and write a few things about you. A really easy tool to, to, their, to your students and you ask them to upload their work there, to write comments, to introduce themselves, and everything is there together in one wall. And it's documents, pictures, PowerPoint presentations, videos, songs, and text. And of course, be also embedded in the twin space. So many different countries. And maybe because they are asking me to update, uh, Ellen, uh, I'm declining that because you, you, do, you don't click on the thing that you see here. You have to open a tab. You can right here. I'm just sharing my screen. And more, the same goes for you. In the classroom, you can it. People can write together in the same Padlet. It's a great collaborative tool. You can use it whichever way you like, writing some things about themselves. So you can use it to introduce yourself or even for evaluation a project. Students will write their experience and what they liked or didn't like. And in many ways, a really easy tool. Students like it. Because it's re because really easy. Those that use the tool, you can write your descriptions in the chat room. But most of you have already written. I read. Yeah, keep declining people who are asking to write on the here. I'm just sharing my screen. You just see what I'm writing here. I can change. You can see the link of the of the presentation. I'm just sharing my screen. You have to open a new tab. So you, you open a new tab. And, you, and the um, address that Evie wrote you in chat for Padlet to go, and then you click there to write. 
you can't you see here and again try it in the palette you can write your introduction in the chat room I'd like to add that if you read part of the toolbox to write your name or a country and uh, the black one to write your text. Okay, that all students, that you students. And you have all introduced yourselves by using this tool in an in any training project. You have added your files, and you have also introduced yourselves by using Padlet. Now, is it okay if we move on to the next activity? Just watching because there are people still eating. Shady said you can, uh, as you write, your favorite color, and, and uh, you can even use this kind of uh, way to to separate the uh, students in different groups. And say that we have introduced ourselves and we have been separated in uh, different groups. And so. Now, we uh, have our group, and it's important uh, to vote the name of our transnational group. What you have to do is to go to the following link. It's called Easy Polls. And we are supposed to uh, have uh, together decide on the name. We have the time to do that. So, we owe some names for our group, for our transnational group. And you just uh, need to, to uh, now to vote. And I'm going to share with you uh, the results. I'm going here. So, vote. So, how will we call our transnational team? Imagine that we are a transnational team of 117 people for team is too big. I suppose you can understand that. But say that we are all together. And so, do you want to call him the Europeans, Butterflies, the Chores, or Happy Faces? Just giving you time, and I'm going to click on the results to see what's happening. Let me, what results? Let me refresh the page. Click on results. So, as I say, now 49 people have voted. We are still missing half of you, so I'm going to refresh once again. I'm happy faces first. As I'm waiting for the rest of you to vote, I, I just want to tell you that it's a really, really simple tool for polls. You can even uh, include photos if you want. You get a free account. You create the account. You write questions. You write the answers as many as you want. Use the color of your poll, if you want to be blue or yellow or whatever. You can embed it in the twin space with your pupils, and it's a nice way where you can all vote. And this is, so I'm just checking the results once again. I have 68 votes now, and 56% are voting for happy faces. Um, do you once again? I don't know if everybody went or if uh, Happy Faces will be the new name of our team. In the chat, Butterfly 70. I think that those we have now and Happy Faces is still in the list. So I think that as Miguel says, Happy Faces team wins, and so we can call ourselves Happy Faces. All faces. 
and have a name, what are we going to do next, Bevy? We formed our mixed nationality group. We've given a name to our group. Our group is Happy Faces. Lay, we are students from different countries working together in one mixed nationality group. So we have our name, we have our description, and now we're going to draw our symbol, the symbol of our group, the logo, the emblem of our group. So we have a collaborative drawing tool that you are going to use now. I'm going to give you the link in the room. Green, should, should I give uh, both links? We have in some way because uh, the thing is that uh, these links, that this tool doesn't work with many, many people. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, they are able to enter, you know, all together in the same room. So there are two different tools. One is called the uh, DrawFlock and the other is Twigla. Uh, okay, I have five. Uh, Give both links in the chat room so if you cannot enter into the first tool, you can do one. What we want you to do here is draw the emblem, the symbol of the Happy Faces group. Tools you can draw together. We used um, a tool in our previous um, work and uh, webinars, the Draw It Live tool, which, is a re which was a really nice tool, but it doesn't work anymore. But we have found similar tools to inline flock draw. Uh, the bad thing, the negative thing with this uh, tool, the flock draw tool, is that uh, if you're not on time, at the same time, to get on canvas, on the empty canvas, if you're not drawing together, it will not save what i done previously at another time. You have to be synchronously at the same time drawing on this tool. So, uh, we are the happy faces, try to draw together and of course respect Ab's work because when we use these tools um, with our students, we, we realize that whatever they don't like, they raise it. They have to raise it without thinking that they should respect our students' work. So this is collaboration, working together, continuing the other's work. So to respect the work of others and don't erase it, just add your part and draw going. Really, I can have the faces in there. And those tools give it chat. So right. means that uh, you have uh, your students, they can use the chat and discuss what they are doing there. So a common decision on how things are going to be in their drawings. Talking about communication and collaboration at the same time, because they have to use the chat to decide what they're going to draw. Fun. They have these tools. They are drawing together. Save the images as JPEG files, I think, when you think. upload them in the space afterwards. Can you? Open? Okay, my cat, my cat, she cannot move, so I'm going to write. We're very colorful. Have you seen it? Black face. But, uh, In flock draw, you can even see who is where. And let's go back to 
the colorful picture. Okay, again, and those of you that didn't manage to get them, Yes, I think that we can move on to the next one, Irene. We let them draw. They can draw for hours, I think. Entertaining, too. That we have our logo and it's time to start our uh, collaborative activities. Although we are collaborating until now all the time. So again, we did uh, two links. One is with TitanPath and the other is with Meeting Words. They are both exactly the same. They are Google Live, uh, Google Docs, but personally, we prefer them more. Uh, I use personally TitanPath very often. So what we actually have here is you have to visit the link, one of the links you decide. It. As I did, if you have to use one of them. And you have to complete one of the lines. So, sorry, oh, sorry, but I forgot, I think, to open this specific tool. So, will you give me a minute to do it right now? So, that. There, with the time pad. We are, I'm starting the first one, creative and innovative features. You have to pick up wine and complete the sentence and make a poem. So the first, and I'm going to open the second one as well. It is Let me I take some time. Okay. Uh, Irene is going to open the, the meeting words. Okay, ready started writing, Irene. Very okay. quick. Bad, but I yes. Okay, you will open the meeting words as well. Wow. Here as well. Okay. Okay. Somebody deleted the okay to the revisions. This can with students as well. Yeah, but revision before. Why? I'm going to I don't know why it, there are no revisions. Oh do something else. Okay. Copy the other one. Poems, you just give the students the first two words we, I, and we see, we see, we want, and write poems together. In uh, writing a simple description of themselves, I am Evie, I am from this, I am. Um, they can write a poem to introduce themselves to their students, and this is a really easy way to introduce themselves and to self in a really creative way. And they feel really proud when they finish the poem because they don't believe that they can write a poem themselves, but it's really easy. They can do it. Thank okay, you. Also, is that with this, uh, with both tools, you write, when you enter and you write writing, you write uh, different uh, in different uh, color. So you understand collaboration since the beginning because we see so many colors. You can understand that many people were involved in the text. So you can write stories. We can write poems. Uh, you can have a brainstorm 
coming to Ukraine. You see it in many, many ways. There's also a chat here in these tools, so the students can chat at the same time and complete the activity. You can export the final product as a text, as a document. Are we reading or somebody else is reading? What do you think? I think that we should find a volunteer, a very brave person that will read the final poem. Anybody who would like to read the first poem in Titan Pot, you need to raise your hand. That's it in the participants. So I will uh, switch on your microphone. If there is somebody who would like to read the poem for us, so I see hands. Let me see who is. So in my, like, let's I can see who raised his hand first in this tool. So I won't be a very, you know, right. Yeah. There, yeah. Thank you. Hey, so, <laughs> uh, so good, Kurt. The first one. So, you're on. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, the He is from the deep inside of our heart. And we see happy faces. We were great right away. We tend to be children having fun. We feel happy. We are citizens, so we stand each other perfectly. Okay, can you read it all? We say we not. We love. We like collaborate, collaborate to be seen. We the work. About the future, we do in collaboration. In collaboration, it will be. Better. We love children each evening. We sharing good ideas and practice. We let us collaborate. We dream. Try hard to be creative to know each other. We to have good results. We work. We intolerant. We bored and ignorant in our classrooms. We our best. We the heart. We want if someone listens. We need to. We find each other our freedom. We want there will be peace soon. We even better work. We are our best. We are professional. We are need hierarchy. Thanks. In many opportunities, we want to have fun teaching. We plan, we feel great. We touch the citizens' heart. We want each other. We hello. We drink. We in better life. We laugh because of happy faces. We love together. Both. We are lazy.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're great. So great. You're a wonderful boy. So let's see. Please don't go. As I told you, I want to be fair. I'm just scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. And so is the second one. I'm so I'm just unmute the microphone. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, can. Yes, I'm going to read uh, the poem in Titan Pad. Okay, I'm starting. When I did, we hear butterflies flying with us, with songs from everywhere. We need to be successful and positive. We preach to be children having fun playing, feel happy when we succeed. We touch each other's hearts. We understand each other, we say, be creative, we draw about love and peace, try to respect each other, we have the better future, we for all children, we live in us, in happiness and friendship, we gather every day, we have children who, co who collaborate with each other, we enjoy sharing good ideas and practice. Say, let's live and love. Uh, here I can stand it. Uh, dream a dream. We try and we succeed to understand each other. We hope to be friends forever. We worry for others. We hate intolerance and intolerance. We fight for peace and respect. We collaborate. We touch our dreams. I wonder if you, if you hear us. We try to do our best. We inspire each other uh, our students use a range of ideas. We wonder if there will be peace soon. We imagine a wonderful future for our pupils. We to meet you. We are students. We hear all. We see goodness in people. We want better. We pretend to do our best. With music of the course, we touch sky the souls, we understand each other, with everyone and the world. We dream of changing the world together, we try out new things together, we have to learn more from another, we worry about everyone, we live in the good things, we live with the, our difficulties. We're having fun. We in ourselves. We say hello honesty. We dream of achieving a goal together. We try to co collaborate. We hope to be loved. We care about each other. We hate war and the uh, discrimination. We fight the bad. We try to read them. Why try to read? We touch things. We wonder if we can succeed. We try to be successful, we inspire each other, we wonder if all this could work, we make a better world, we are young and crazy and never lazy, we believe it is great to collaborate. Thank you. I did a really great uh, job, Paul, and if you a great job, we should that your students will do a great job by using these tools. And every. Okay. Let's move to the next activity. And we have written the poem. We have to decide, agree upon a title for this poem. So we're going to use another really nice and really and really tool. It's called Amber Garden. I have the link in that room. Visit the link and the title for the poem we have just written uh, in your screen on the script you are now uh, that is now in front of you. A title that you like, it 
and click on submit. And this way, it's like voting title that a person has already uh, written in the answer garden too. And the The time uh, which has the most gets bigger and bigger all the time. So uh, apart from uh, um, sharing your ideas on this tool, you can also use it as a voting tool. It's an easy tool. And it's tool for evaluation, especially students, because it accepts only uh, 20 characters, I think. So so just one or two words. Twenty or forty characters. So I yes. can here. Word collaborate the the title collaborative dreams is bigger than the others because more have voted for this title. And we is also very big. So two types are the most popular one. So the nice tool for sharing ideas, voting at the same time, forming for evaluating. You think? Titles for our poem. It's a wonderful time for cooperation. These are feelings. Happy teachers. European bones. We wrote our happiness poem. Happy faces, hopes, love, and peace. But creative dreams is your favorite one, I think. Um, our question, uh, we can share the links in the forums. Uh, what we have done when we for transnational groups in our project is uh, that we have created a forum for each one of the groups. So the groups use the forum uh, to plan our activities and we pasted all the links that they had to use in the forum work together as a group in the forum and organized it this way. So, or pages by saying group one, this link, group two, this, and so on. Yes. Yeah. Go on. And we can go on with the, the last activity. Because that it's it and you have many other things to do as well. So the tool, and it's a kind of evaluation for us as well. So we would like uh, you to tell us how did you find this online workshop? It's a kind of workshop. It's not only expert talk. Isn't it useful? So you have to vis you can visit the link and write your impression with up to twenty characters. So this tool is called Today's Meet, and you can use it in different ways to ask to brainstorm to discuss on different things. For example, maybe your partners are making a presentation to you and while they are presenting, you write your comments and you have your feedback on what they are presenting. It's really nice and useful thing. You can save everything up to two months. You decide how you want to save the material here. And you can, you can create an account as well. It's really free and you can send the link. Uh, if you want to use it for evaluation, you can ask your students if they don't want to put the real name, then write a nickname. So if, uh, for example, you want to say now, oh, this seminar was awful, I didn't like it at all, you can just write you are a butterfly, and you can talk as a butterfly. It's a really nice tool as well, and we think we use it. 
the real way. So instant feedback on different things. And I think I look what I think. And I think we did okay. I'm very honest. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. We're connected. I that Irene is going to uh, publish the link in our presentation in the Creative Classroom, so you will have everything there to start carefully at your own time. as well, I think. Yeah, I can from here and I will send an email to ask you to share all together a different kind of collaborative activities. So then we can make an e-book with uh, many of your ideas for collaborative activities now that you have more information about that. And uh, I think it would be useful for everybody to have something like that. Plan at least one collaborative activity in your twinning project. If you cannot plan collaborative activities, because we know that it takes time to plan such activities, um, and it's uh, a well organized uh, project, plan at least one or two, you will really enjoy them. Activity pages by activity, not by country. <laughs> yes, of course, the most important thing. So some tools, some tools that uh, were proposed by some of you, I have to say, uh, at the attended a learning event that uh, I did about uh, quality labels. So here, they uh, I they shared quite a lot of interesting materials, and I can have a look at that. I propose them. Uh, so we would like to thank you uh, for your patience, for your enthusiasm. It was really a great webinar for me. Say if there are any questions. Do you also organize the material on the twin page? Oh, so it goes fast and I love it. Evie, did you had did you manage to read that question? Uh, I think that someone was asking uh, if uh, the tools we use are free. They're all free. All are for free. Line. Uh, I don't know any other questions. How many activities should you have in the project? It's not a matter of uh, quantity, it's a matter of quality. So, uh, work collaboratively, you don't need to have too many, you know, activities because collaboration really takes time. So the, the recording and uh, the presentation in the Creative Classroom group in the Expert Talk sections 2015-2016, it will be there. And with all the tools and everything, and hope you'll all contribute in the forum and propose your activities, your creative collaborative activities. So see you in the next webinar next month, and we are uh, I'm hoping that we're going to have a really interesting uh, guest that comes from Harvard University uh, with a very interesting topic. So uh, I will send you more information through the group. Uh, thank you, Evie, once again for uh, being here. Thank you, Irene. Thank you much for inviting me and for having the opportunity to, to workshop with you. Thanks for being here. Have a good call.